Hey guys, today I'm going to be reconstructing my 24.33 ASR FMC mean. So let's just get straight into the first solve. In the first solve, I started on the inverse scramble. So in the inverse scramble, I started with EO. There are four bad edges, which are here, 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 and here. So this can be easily done by doing L2 and R prime to put all of the edges in one face, and then B. So that's a 3-move EO, and after that, there's this block that appears, and this edge, so you can make an easy square in 2 moves by doing F2, L. After that, I switched back to the normal scramble. So here in the normal scramble, we still have this square, and I decided to make a 2 by 2 by 3 So first, I connected this pair, U, and then inserted this edge to where it should be, R prime F2. And this is actually just a one move to a 2x2x2, two by two by two, but instead, using this pair, I can connect it to here by doing an R2 to make another square, D to make a 2x2x2, two by two by two, and then B2 to finish the 2x2x3. Two by two by and that's 11 moves in total. So from this point, uh, I did a really inefficient F12 <laughs> pair. So I basically just solved this pair like normal, U2, R2 pair them up, and then insert it. So that's 19 to F12 minus 1, but the continuation is what matters. So I just insert this edge, u prime r prime u r, and that is 3c in 23 moves, which is not too bad. Um, I still had a lot of time, but I couldn't find any other good skeletons, so I just inserted it at this point. So the move before this point is u2, and the move after is r. So the interchange is u, so that cancels one move. r d r prime, u prime, r d prime, r prime. That last r prime cancels two with the move after. So that cancels three moves in total, which gives me a final solution of 28 moves. Now, time to go to the second scramble. So on the second scramble, my entire skeleton was done on the normal. And it's a really short skeleton. So first, I saw that I could do r prime f prime to make the square, but that also reduces the EO to um, 4 edges left because by doing an R prime, these are all 4 bad edges and there are 8 bad edges in total. So that makes a square and partial EO. And to finish the EO, I did R D prime B. So that's EO and a square in 5 moves and I see a lot of blocks here. So I just did three more moves, d2, which makes the square, b2 to insert that, and also makes the square, and r2. So that's eight moves to three edges and five corners. So at one point in the skeleton, there's a spot where all of the edges are on top. And just by doing f2 and then fat soon like that, it gives um, five corners. And that's 8 moves minus 1 cancelled, so this is 15 to 5 corners. So in this spot, um, what I did was uh, these 3 corners, and it cancels 4 moves. D prime F D, B, D prime F prime D prime, B prime. That com cancels 4, which gives 19 to 3 corners. And finally at this spot, um, D F prime D prime, B2 D F d prime b2 um, cancels two moves, which gives me a final solution of 25 moves, which is good. And now for the final solution, I started on the inverse, and there's a very obvious 2x2x2 two by two by two here. So r prime, u prime makes this square, and also sets this edge up, d2, b2. So that's a 4 move, 2x2x2. Two by two by two. I didn't find anything good after this, so I switched back to the normal scramble. So in the normal scramble, this really obvious 2x2x3 two by two by appears, which is f prime to set this edge up. And then we can insert this f12 pair, r prime u, and then f prime. And that gives 8 moves to a 2x2x3. Two by two by and then after this, I didn't find anything, so I switched back to the normals, sorry, the inverse scramble. So here, I found that there's this easy f12 pair, but from there, nothing good appears. However, I also see this... Um, 
block here which can be paired up to a square like that. So why not just do both of them simultaneously? So b f prime, u prime, f b prime. So that gives this um, epsilon minus one, but also a square, so a tripod. And then just doing a u two gives three edges and three corners in thirteen moves, which is really good. So in this part, this is actually something that Chung Wen taught me. Thanks, Wench. This case can be solved. Uh, the edges here can be solved by doing f two, and then basically just um, insert this edge here in F2 again and in this case it gives three corners and that's only six moves uh, which cancel one so it's 18 to three corners in this spot I pretty much just died after doing this insertion so it's just a necklace which goes U B U prime F prime U B prime U prime F Look at those last three moves. B prime U prime F. That exactly um, cancels with the next three moves in the skeleton, which gives a six move cancel and a final solution of 20 moves. Yay, that also ties my overall PB at the time, which was also 20. So yeah, that's ASR mean. 28, 25, and 20, which gives 24.33. But on the next round, I got something amazing. So let's just look at the first solve of the next round of the competition. So the entire skeleton was done on the inverse scramble. Um, so firstly, on this face, there are only four bad edges. So EO can be solved by doing U prime R. And then there's this easy square that can be made by doing u prime f and then another square can be made by using this block and this edge u prime b and then um, this two by uh, this square can be extended to a one by two by three by doing d u prime f and then d f which gives um, I guess this is this is an f twelve minus one um, and then insert this edge three corners in 16 so my insertion was at this point which is r u prime r prime d2 r u r prime d2 sadly that only cancelled one uh, which gives me a final solution of 23 moves I also tried um, some advanced 3c which is basically inserting a random commutator somewhere that cancels a lot of moves but live, leaves um, 3c I tried that and the best I could find was also a 23, so ugh, rip. But having a 23 gives me the unofficial world record for the best rolling mean officially, which is 25, 20, and 23. What's that? 22.67? Yeah, I think so. <sighs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, FMC is really fun. You guys should try it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.